Uh, just trying to get comfortable. Please excuse my slightly dishevelled appearance. I've just returned from the workplace. Hello, Rach Romano, how's everyone doing? It's almost Christmas. Well, it might actually have been already Christmas because of the day that I upload. But la la la. It might, it's not Christmas yet, so yay. If, you've, if it's already Christmas, then I hope you had a good one. So, Tom Ford, white patchouli. Oh. I am in love with this fragrance. That's all I can say right now. Um, oh, I forgot something. So yeah, absolutely love this fragrance. I got it in the recent months and I am bowled over by it. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Not to everyone's taste, I'm sure, but for me, winner! Um, this is part of Tom Ford's signature line. You know, the ones that come in the rivety, ribbed kind of bottles, fine lines down them. Uh, all of those that I've smelled so far have been unique and bold in different ways. Really love them. I'm not going to lie. Just mentioning as well, and you will be hearing this every now and then, I recently teamed up with a really cool fragrance website called beautyspin.co.uk and beautyspin.com uh, and to help them out and to share the love, I promised I'd mention them a few times. Love it. Really good selection of fragrances, so go and check them out. Links below, everybody. Links below. So it came out in 2008, it's a floral fragrance, and here it is. I'll give you a closer look at the bottle in a minute. The box actually feels like it's got powder on it. Really cool. I just, I, sometimes I just sit here and go like this. Mm. So first of all I want to say, you know, don't be scared of the name. If you're not a patchouli lover, you might be alright with this. Yes, it's very bold and everything, but... It's not a patchouli bomb, which is strange because, you know, it's right there in the title. So let's take a quick look at the bottle. Cut to split screen. So uh, here it is, yeah, it's really, really nice. Um, unfortunately, it's one of those ones that you can't see through, but it's, it's really gorgeous. White glass, uh, gold sprayer. It's got the little necklace -y thing going on there that you have on all of his signature line ones. Well, most of them. And a little gold square at the front. Yeah, and the box is pretty too. As I said, it kind of feels like it's got powder on it, this box. It's the ribs. It's the ribbed stuff in it. And uh, just, yeah, gold detail. La 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 la! So let's go through the notes. So, the top notes first of all. You have white flowers, um, which is the main kind of feel of this entire thing. It's classified, I think, as a sheepra. Um, a floral sheepra. I would say probably more floral. Um, there's me the other day just saying that I'm not gonna, I don't really review Sheepras and here I am doing one again. Funny how things turn out. Anyway, um, so the top notes, white flowers, peony, coriander and bergamot. The heart notes are ambrette seed, which is also known as musk mallow. A lot of companies use it as a substitute for musk. Um, I know real musk isn't really used anymore at all in fragrances, but it's an alternative. It's a seed that creates a musky feel. Go and look it up, it's quite interesting. Then you have um, jasmine and rose. And, <coughs> and then the base notes are woody notes, um, incense and patchouli. So it's got quite a bold composition going on there. But you've got a few delicate things as well, like peony and rose, just to give it a bit of softness. So it's really, really gorgeous. Erica Bardu was the face of the campaign, who I think is really cool, really cool singer. Um, yeah, just a little pointer there. So, what does it smell like? That's the most important thing, that's probably why you're here. I've had it drying on this hand for a while, but I'm going to respray it on this hand. I must say, like I said, I'm bowled over by this. I just, this is one of those fragrances that when I put it on, I feel like a million bucks, or pounds, or whatever the strongest currency in the world is right now. Not the easiest thing to like, and definitely not going to be everyone's, um, you know, go-to scent, I don't think. It's very harsh in the opening. It's a brash, bold fragrance. Tom Ford fragrances, especially his signature line, aren't really known for being dainty and shine retiring anyway. So, first of all, let me talk about patchouli. 
I don't really think it smells like patchouli. It, it does if you smell it up close, but when it's wet, let me just talk about the opening. The patchouli in this apparently has been modified to make it less harsh. It's a modified patchouli accord. And when I first spray it, if you smell it up close, which you shouldn't really do anyway, to, let's be fair, but there is a very unusual tone in it that sticks out that would probably be off-putting. It is kind of a bit plasticky, something a tiny bit chemical and weird and almost a little bit like uh, terpenes or like terpene, is that the right word? Yeah, turpentine, that's what, that's what I'm looking for. Kind of like a plasticky turpentine smell, which straight away is ugh, a bit strange. And it's surrounded by a gorgeous bouquet of quite heavy white florals. It's lovely, I really like it. When you smell it like this, which is how it's intended to be smelled, you know, in the air, in its sillage, that's when it smells different. There is a kind of green patchouli element, because sometimes I think uh, there is that tiny bit of skank going on, but it's, that's not the main tone or kind of scent or odour of this fragrance. When it starts to kind of settle and you get a bit more into it, it's really kind of classy. It's kind of, it smells spiky to me. It's rough, spiky and green with, a, like I said, a lovely bouquet of white flowers. It's really kind of potent and in your face. It's one of those head turnery kind of fragrances, I would say. And it kind of is one of those fragrances, again, that has a nod to something classic. It feels like it's almost from another time, but it's been given a modern twist as well. So it does throw a lot of stuff at you when you're wearing it. Really like it. Oh, so much. It, oh, I don't know. It's just, just really good. There used to be a girl at work who used to wear this, and whenever she used to walk over, I used to kind of try to inhale her scent. But it's okay. I was friendly with her. It wasn't like... I was a creep or anything, or a weirdo that was just trying to randomly smell somebody. So what I've noticed about this, and I don't think a lot of people will agree, but this is what I pick up. Rose and Peony in this work together as a really good tag team. They, when they're paired together, they become something else entirely. And what I think is, the main floral part of this, in the core of it, smells a tiny bit like geranium. It's like a very amped up rose smell. It's really, really cool. You've got these spiky, kind of peppery, spicy white flowers on the outside, but the core of it is actually something quite rich. And geranium is very, very rich, very, very overbearing. But this is what I'm smelling, and I think it's the rose and peony combined. Peony is along the same lines as roses, but it's always synthesised in a fragrance, it's something that's been made, because peonies don't give up their scent. It's like a, an enhancer, they're like a match made in heaven, kind of like tonka and vanilla, or you know, cheese and wine. Oh. Pick whatever you like. So, it's overall a floral fragrance and it's very brash. You've got something powdery that just softens it, but only a little bit, because like I said, it's more spiky and spicy than anything else. But it does have a very obvious classy feel to me. I guess it's what your interpretation of classy is. I, like I said, I feel like a million dollars when I wear this. It lifts my confidence and everything. It's just one of those ones. It's really good. Ignore that plasticky tone and, you know, Try to kind of give it a bit of a waft rather than go like this and try and get it because it does smell unusual um, here. But that's what Tom Ford signature lines are. They, they are different, which is why I appreciate them so much. It's just fantastic. It really is. It would probably take a bit of time to get used to if you're not used to something like that. It's one of those ones I always say, you know, if you smelled it on someone else first, you might appreciate it more than if you sprayed it on your skin and just got a bit overwhelmed because it's bold, it's daring, and it's... There. It's bisexual, it's unisex, it's everything. Right about it, it says, with its sensuous heart of patchouli, Tom Ford white patchouli is surrounded by sleek wood notes with luxurious, elegant white flowers. This modern fragrance with the retro classic influence is sophisticated and is a sophisticated interpretation of bohemian chic. They kind of nailed it when they said um, 
retro classic influence because it does feel modern but it does like I said have that nod back to something a little bit retro it's like it's on the cusp of being vintage to modern it's right in the middle so really love it it projects really well it does it is kind of like black orchid in that way where it's quite a wall of fragrance when you wear it the drier stages see it turn a tiny bit more powdery it never goes full-on powdery but it must be the powder in the rose and some kind of powderiness coming from these woods that are in here I don't even know what the woods are I couldn't tell you here but it does have a definite woody element and more so when it's dry um, I couldn't even tell you what they are like I said it's it's definitely not cedarwood and it's definitely not sandalwood because it, it doesn't have a sensuality in that way it stays a little bit brash the whole time it's a masterpiece, and I don't throw that word around lightly, let me tell you that. I get a good eight hours longevity out of it, and the sillage is kind of arm's lengthy, but if you're moving around and you walk past someone, they're definitely going to smell it. It's really good. It doesn't develop hugely over time, which I'm really thankful for, because I like how it smells. The dry down also sees things meld together a lot more. When I said before, it was spiky with this kind of patchouli geranium heart going on here it becomes a more complete fragrance this is probably about after an hour of wearing it it becomes one it becomes a solid strong floral that's just really powerful and confident and not scared to just be what it is so that's my review of white patchouli by tom ford from his signature line and like i said go check out beautyspin.co.uk and beautyspin.com Links below. You can get this right now. I'm Ash Wano. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon for another review. Goodbye. The face. I need to learn to aim properly. I really do. Ooh.